Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to make a nice electro bass and automate the pitch on it using Massive and FL Studio. So um, what I have here is just a simple loop and a drum pattern. So I'll show you how the default Massive sounds. So you're going to open up Massive and drag the pitch on oscillator 1 up to 12 and on a shoot you gotta go to file new sound and then do that drag the amp down to there on oscillator 2 add acid and here's how it sounds on oscillator 3 add modern tacking Turn on the modulation oscillator, bring the pitch down to negative 24. Next, put the RIN mod on oscillator 1 and phase on oscillator 2 and drag the RIN mod down to right there. On filter 1, put on a scream filter, drag the cutoff up, the scream down. And then a little bit of feed. On insert one, put on a sign shaper, add a little bit of dry wet and the drive up to about three quarters. Okay, sounding pretty good. Go under the voicing tab and turn this to mono rotate. Only that as always. So all that does is it'll make it bend to the next note rather than just going straight up. So under the oscillator tab here, probably going to want to drag the time down a little bit to whatever sounds good. That's just the time it'll take to glide to the next note. So now... Now I like it right there. So go ahead and turn on your EQ and drag up the high shelf and frequency a little bit and bring down the low shelf alright so that's it for in massive for now go into the mixer and uh, open in a empty slot here link selected channels to this track click the first drop down arrow then an homicide, and now here's how it sounds with that. And if you don't have homicide, any distortion that comes with whatever software it is you have, or anything else you've downloaded, should work just fine. So, fruity fast distortion, which comes with FL, should work just fine. But I prefer homicide, so I'll use that. Alright, then come back into Massive and name your second macro pitch. Drag that onto all your oscillators on the pitch and drag it up to 12. Same on the second. And the third. And don't forget to add it on your modulation oscillator as well. Or else it's going to sound pretty bad when you start to change that. So now when you drag up this pitch it's going to change the pitch for all the oscillators which is in the end going to change the pitch for the whole synth so here's how it sounds when I drag it up and down so 
So now you're going to want to be able to change that throughout the song. So click this drop down arrow in the corner and select make editor thumbnail. Click on that and right click on pitch, create automation clip. You see the screen automation clip here, drag these docs, you can put in your own docs, drag those to wherever you want it. Here's how it sounds with that. <laughs> And that's all. You can apply that macro, that little trick, to any synth you make in Massive, just as long as you put it on all the oscillators and just do it the same way. So, uh, yeah, I hope that helped. And please like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.